Okay, this is lesson 38 uh, for algebra 1, finding domain and range on graphs. The objective today, students will define, identify the domain and range from a graph. Basically, the domain and range is the, the domain is how far it goes left to right, and the range is how high, how high and how low the graph goes. That's all it means, okay? It doesn't mean anything else, it just means what, what are the, what are the limits of the graph? What does it go to, okay? So... These are the steps, six steps, or five steps, and a lot of them are repetitive, so if you need to look at it, you could look on the video and pause it, or just write it down a bit. Okay, so I'll do numbers one and two. So number one, let's say we had a graph that looks like the following. So just watch right now, everyone's just watching. All we're doing is finding the limits of a graph. So let's say that we had, I'm sorry, an x and y axis. Okay, and we had a graph that looks like the following. Okay, looks like the following. Well, I'm going to find the domain and the range. The domain is the limit from the left to the right. Okay, so when we look at domain, the first step is I want to identify any open or closed circles. So. Over here, we do have two open circles, so we do not include them in the solutions. So, watching carefully up here, watching carefully up here, okay. First thing you want to do, how far left do we is the graph starting at? It starts over here on the left-hand side at negative 4. And if you, you could actually do this with your, like, a ruler or your ID card. You're thinking, where does it go starting on the very left? How, when does it start? Well, it starts at negative 4. The way we know that, we're just counting from the origin to the farthest point on the left. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4. That's where the farthest point is, okay? So, start by writing D as domain. Starts at negative 4. And then I think about how far is the farthest point on the right. Using my ruler, I go all the way to the right. I go 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way to the right. And then I put an X in the middle, okay? And then I put uh, two less than signs right here. And the reason why it says that is X is greater than negative 4, but it's less than 4. And then I ask myself, are these open circles or closed circles? These are both open circles, so we, we wouldn't put an equal sign here. If they were closed, then we would put equal signs right here. But they're not closed, so that's our domain. It goes from negative 4 to positive 4. X could be from negative 4 to positive 4. It's greater than negative 4, but less than positive 4. That's our domain. Now we have to think about how low and how high does this graph go. So the same thing we turn using our uh, ruler. We start thinking how <clears throat> low does it go. Well, it, the, place, the point that it starts is at over here, and it's at negative 2. So starting from the origin, I'm counting at negative 2. So our range, the lowest point is negative 2. Highest point is positive 1, 2, 3, 4. And I'll count from the <coughs> origin just to make sure counting up to 4. Yep, that's correct. So I'm going to put positive 4 here. There's a Y in the middle. Again, you're putting less than signs here. And I ask myself, are these... Uh, are these points open or closed? They're open, so I don't want to put equal signs. So the range is saying that y, the y values will go from negative 2 up to positive 4. That y is greater than negative 2, but it's also less than positive 4. Okay? That's what the domain and range is. You're just telling me what the limitations of the graph are. All right, I'm going to do another one. Okay? Let's say, for example, you had a point that was way out here, and it was a closed point, and then you had a point all the way over here, and this was an open point, and your graph looked like this. Oh, sorry, looked like this. Okay? So it doesn't matter what the graph looks like, same steps starting. From the very left, where on the domain, we want to go left to right. So what's the lowest point? Well, it's at this point here. So we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It starts at negative 7. So you write down negative 7. 
What's the largest point it gets to? Well, it goes all the way over to here. This point here is 1, 2, 3, 4. So you write down 4. Put an x in the middle. Okay, two less than signs. On this particular point at negative 7, is it open or closed? It's closed, so it's included. So we want to make sure we put an equal sign under here. And this is our domain. Our domain is saying x is greater than or equal to negative 7, but it's less than 4. Okay, our range now. The lowest point it's at is down to here. So this is at negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, negative 7. And it's at the highest point it gets to is negative 1. Put a y in the middle, less than. Okay. On this one, <coughs> sorry, both of these are through less than. This has a point, this one that says negative 1, it's, it's closed, but this one's open. So the one that's at negative 7, we keep it not solid, but the one that's at negative 1, we want to make it solid because it includes negative 1. So we would include it. This is our domain and range for this graph. Okay? All we're doing is identifying the limits of the graph. Okay, that's the big picture here. Any questions on numbers 1 and 2? Okay. All right, let's have one title the twos about this example number one, and then twos title the ones about example number two. Ready, set, go. So the lowest point is negative three, so you write down domain first, D, and you go negative three, and then six, and then you put X in the middle, and then you put two less than signs. Okay? And then you ask yourself, which one has, a, are, are any of them open or closed? This one's open by the negative three, but by the six, it's closed, right? So if it's closed, you can put a little equal to sign underneath it. And that's your domain now. Now I want you to figure out the range for me. Okay?